All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about why we went with McGoy's lift kit for both of our devices, or devices, both of our vehicles. Last time I made a video, I got a lot of crap because I called this the ghetto. And honestly, it is because it's the south side. If you look over there, that way, that's the uh, projects. And if you go that way, that's the uh, abandoned mall in Augusta. So I would say this is pretty ghetto. But a lot of people got offended by it. But uh, first things first. This is my 2004 GMC Sierra 2500 HD with a Duramax engine. This is a 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 with a 5.3 liter engine. This is, we both have McGoy's lift kit. Mine is, uh, mine is set at around seven and a half, maybe roughly eight inches. This is cranked to nine inches. So this one sits exactly at nine. Mine's probably around seven and a half, maybe eight, most likely seven and a half. So, if you look, look at this, look at the uh, angle. Honestly, that front end geometry is not that bad at all. This is maxed out at nine inches, and that is not bad at all. That that angle is like ten times better than the Rough Country leveling kit that this truck had before this lift kit. So because the front is set at nine inches and then the back is set at around seven, so it squats a little bit. And if you wanna level it out, if you wanna make the back match the front, you could add, uh, you could do an add a leaf in the back and then make it sit level. Mine, mine's pretty level. And with John's truck, he got the McGoy's upper control arm, which definitely helps because he's gonna, you know, he set his truck, he maxed out his lift kit to nine inches, so having an upgraded upper control arm definitely helps. All right, so with John's truck, he has a CT or Edge CTS2. Um, it's not the inside, it's the, um, frig I forgot the name, I think it's like a Revolution or something. And I am planning on getting a edge monitor for my Duramax as well. All right, so let's continue this video in John's truck because it's nicer. All right, so the reason why we went with McGoy's lift kit is, first of all, one of the, like uh, we had a budget, so we didn't want to go overboard, but we also didn't want to buy anything too cheap because you get what you pay for. And I've had a Rough Country lift kit. Not that there's anything really wrong with Rough Country, like they're not terrible like everyone says they are. It's honestly like my 1500 with Rough Country lift kit didn't ride that bad. All my friends, you know, thought the truck drove smoothly and it was actually a pretty decent kit for, uh, you know, how much I spent. Uh, I also didn't max out my lift kit like most people do. I know a lot of people out there get the six inch Rough Country lift and they put leveling keys on top of that and they max it out at like seven, seven and a half inches and when you're supposed to only do six. So of course that's gonna write dog shit if you do that. But you know, my CV angles were, were okay on my Rough Country. What Rough Country does is for the six inch lift for my model year, uh, what it does is it's, it's, it's essentially same as the four inch kit but a four inch kit comes with a smaller rear block. So if you get the six inch kit, it comes with the rear blocks that are taller than the four inch kit. And uh, you just have to crank up the torsion bars to up to six inches. So he didn't want to go with the cheapest lift kit. And so why is this guy parking right next to? Why? Why dude? Why? Can you believe that guy parking his Ford right there? Like it belongs here? Anyway, focus. 
All right. You know, his, this is a $40,000 truck. You know, it's a $50,000 truck brand new. And to me, I've always, you know, thought, I've, this, this is the way I've always looked at it. This truck rides so nicely from factory. It rides so smoothly. It almost doesn't even feel like a truck. It almost feels like an SUV. It rides so well. And it's a $50,000 truck when, it, you know, when it's brand new. And why would you go with the cheapest kit that's out there? You know? Like, why would you buy the cheapest kit that's out there for a $50,000 truck? That makes no sense. I don't know why people put spend $1,500 and put Rough Country on a $50,000 truck and make their ride quality worse because it will make it worse than it was before. And so uh, when he started looking for a, li a lift kit, first thing I did was I recommended McGoy's because I have it on my truck and I absolutely love it. It looks good. The cross member looks amazing. I honestly, like when I look at lift kits, I look at the cross member and I think McGoy's has one of the best looking cross members out there. And uh, you know, from my personal experience, uh, the ride quality has improved tremendously with my lift kit compared to when it was stock. My When that truck was stock, it rode like a tank and I absolutely hated it. And then once I put the lift kit and you know got the Cooper SCT Pros, that truck rides pretty good, pretty nice. And so, of course I recommended John for, you know, of course I, that of course, you know, from personal experience, I said, let's not go with Rough Country Let's spend a little bit more extra and go with McGoy's. And then we started looking at upper control arms because I have heavy duty upper control arms. But from the beginning, I knew that because he wanted you know 12 wides with negative 44 offset with 35 inch tires and he didn't want to do any trimming, I said, we can't set it at seven inches. We have to set it at at least eight and maybe even nine. Uh, with that being said, we had to look for upper control arms. Because if you're going to max out your lift kit, you want to upgrade your upper control arms and maybe even like tie rods and other stuff. Not that he really needs to have like upgraded tie rods, but you know, it, it would just be, you know, better. Because of the budget, we had three options. Rough Country, Zone, and McGoy's. And maybe even BDS, but BDS is, you know, up there. Uh, so we ruled out uh, Rough Country because... And he thought about it for a while, but I was like, nah, dude, go big or go home. So we were torn between Zone and McGoy's. Of course, I persuaded him to get McGoy's because, I don't know, like, I was like, dude, we could have a matching lift kit, you know. He always thought my cross member looked good. And I was like, dude, you can definitely get that on your truck if you get McGoy's. Uh, I don't know, that sounds really weird, like, picking your lift kit because of the cross member. But, like, we always thought McGoy's cross member looked very attractive. But the other big issue was, like I said, he wanted to go uh, 12 wide at least with 35 inch tires. And because we knew from all the research that we've done, like we've asked so many people on Instagram about their uh, wheel size and tire size. That police is just tailgating that guy. Is he gonna turn the lights on? No. Nah. We've asked literally so many people. We're like, hey, you have 12 wides and 35s. What size lift kit do you have? And a lot of people were like, oh, I have a 7 inch kit, but it still rubs. And I was like, damn, really? So, we kind of had to rule out Zone because I think Zone only makes six and a half inch lift kit. And, we're, and because everyone said it rubs and because. John was at the point where he was just sick of he was just sick of not being able to make a full turn because he had 12 wides on a leveling kit. 12 wides, 33s on a leveling kit. So he couldn't make full turns. It always rubbed. Um, so he was just sick of it. So he was just like, if I lift my truck, I want it to be where I don't rub at all. So we had to roll out zone because they only made six and a half uh, six and a half inch lift kit so mcgoy's was the i guess in a way the only option but that was the best option at the same time so 
I think it, I think everything worked out perfectly. Uh, dealer options really hooked us up with the upper control arms and stuff. And you know they did a fantastic job lifting this truck. They did a fantastic job lifting my Duramax. And they also lifted Peter's 2017 Denali. So they lifted all of our trucks and they do a great job. So make sure to give them a follow. Uh, if you want to get any work done and you're if you guys are near uh, the Augusta area make sure to just give them a call uh, just look up dealer options in Google or follow them on Instagram and uh, if you guys have any questions about our lift kits or really just anything in general leave a comment below or um, I guess you can message us on Instagram but make sure you go through my old videos because I have answered a lot of questions and I, I get people asking me same questions all the time. It just gets really repetitive. So try to refer to uh, older videos or maybe go through my playlist before you ask me like all these questions that I've already answered or I've already made videos about. But I appreciate everyone's support. Remember, I'll be in Virginia uh, the 23rd of this month. And I'm going to try to meet up with some of you guys. And I already said that I'm going to be meeting up with Saturated LBZ. Uh, we've been messaging back and forth, and we're going to plan something awesome. Please give it a thumbs up. Peace.